The Tropical Cyclone Vicky has now formed and at this point in time it's a Category 1 system. And it's currently located 14 decimal 5 degrees south, 171 decimal 1 degrees west, central pressure 995 millibars. The Vicky is currently tracking east south east at about 6 knots, maximum 10 minute average winds in the centre, estimated at about 35 knots. But at the time of uh, doing this update, it could be up around 45 knots. Here's the Fiji Meteorological Services track on the system. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has updated their position and they have it as Tropical Cyclone 17P. And where do they have it positioned? They have it about 47 Nordic miles west of Pago Pago, American Samoa. Now tracking southeast at 11 knots. Animated multispectral imagery indicates a compact circulation within the South Pacific Convergent Zone and has rapidly consolidated over the last six hours. Scatterometry data as the system approach Western Samoa indicates 30 knots and observations at a couple of local airports in the area supported this estimate. Four AC estimates range from T1.5 to T2, 25 to 30 knots. However, a observation from Pago Pago has found 40 knots sustained with gusts to 65 knots. However, the Voag estimate is likely underrepresenting the actual peak intensity due to the compact nature of the convective core. Therefore, the intensity is now assessed at 45 knots, and the cyclone is tracking south eastward along a persistent trough and remains in a favourable environment with form with warm 27 to 28 Celsius sea surface temperatures, low 10 to 15 knots vertical wind shear and established poleward outflow. The system is expected to begin a generally south-south eastward track within 12 hours becoming southward at the 24 hour mark as the track begins to turn south south west after 24 hours the cyclone will begin to dissipate over water due to increasing vertical wind shear cooler sea surface temperatures weakening to 35 knots by 36 hours and increasingly unfavorable conditions will leave model solutions depicts 17p interacting with 96p within 48 hours or at the 48 hours mark. The combination of potential system interaction and high degree of spread yields low confidence to the Joyce Typhoon Warning Centre's forecast. And rave height is 15 now we have a look at what the HWRF is saying and here's a look at the winds, the scale is at the right hand side of the screen and a very complex weather pattern over there in the South Pacific region, the convergence zone, a very active uh, monsoonal off and this is the rainfall 
there is a possibility that the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre might correct their information. Uh, we also have uh, Investor 98P to the west northwest of Vicky, and here's a look at a uh, possible track of the system. And as the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre said, the life is not going to be very long. And here's a intensity. And for the uh, Saffron Simpson hurricane scale, a tropical storm. Uh, however, here's the upper level divergence, wind shear. 850 minibar vorticity and one model on the system. The upper level divergence is very weak, it's probably only about 10 20 knots. Wind shear, quite a bit of area in red, which is unfavorable. And one of my favorites is the vorticity, and we have invested. Uh, 98p we have Vicky and I think 96p to the south we will continue to bring the uh, latest information and if you haven't tuned to our AU channel it would be appreciated we also have a tropical cyclone developing in the Gulf of Carpentaria and one off the and a low to come on the radar northwest WA and northwest of Broome. And in addition to the tropical cyclone Cat 1 of Vicky, we have a developing local weather scene. We have, as mentioned, in the uh, update on Vicky developing tropical low up there in the Gulf of Carpentaria. However, uh, looking at the local scene, 10 a.m. through to 2200 hours tomorrow, it's a storm probability. Current temperatures in the capital cities 24.6 Sydney, 18.2 Melbourne, 28.4. Brisbane, Perth 27, Adelaide 21.5, Hobart 16.6, 23.1, Canberra 30.2 in uh, Darwin. And this is a developing uh, graphic. It's the precipitation and pressure significantly, or let's say of importance, is that each of these images are free hourly. And the information is at the bottom of the screen left hand side. Possible light shower in Sydney, shower two clearing Melbourne, possible shower Brisbane, cloudy Perth, also in Adelaide, also in Hobart, partly cloudy Canberra, shower two possible storm in Darwin. The Bureau's 12 hourly rainfall. The rainfall information is on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, expected temperatures 25 in Sydney, 19 Melbourne, 30 Brisbane, 35 Perth, 24 Adelaide, 18 Hobart, 27 Canberra. 33 in Darwin or the capital cities yet to reach their maximum. The Bureau's total forecast of rain and it continues to change. Look at the area from blue through to the pink. The GFS accumulated precipitation model the uh, rainfall scale is at the bottom of the screen. 
And again, it's the area in yellow fruit to dark brown. However, Joy Typhoon Warning Center has issued a tropical cyclone formation alert for Invest 98P. And this is the instability snapshot. Invest 98P near 12 south, 176 decimal, 7 degrees west. About 381 nautical miles west northwest of Pago Pago, American Samoa. Animated multispectral satellite imagery along with a Met Top B pass depicts a formative low level circulation center. Fragmented deep convection to the northeast. Environmental analysis reveals fair conditions for development with moderate pollen outflow, weak dive fluence aloft, low 10 knots vertical wind shear, warm 29 to 30 Celsius sea surface temperatures. Global models indicate that 98P will continue to consolidate and slightly intensify as it continues to track south south east. Maximum sustained service winds estimated at 20. 7 to 33 knots. Minimum sea level pressure estimated to be around 998 millibars. The potential for the development of a cyclone has been upgraded to high. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has invested a 99p at 12. Uh, correction about 169 nautical miles west uh, southwest of Reaper 91 gigahertz image depicts a broad area low pressure with deep convection displaced approximately 60 nautical miles to the northeast 99p is currently in a fair environment within the monsoon trough here we go again with weak divergence and off offset by low 5 to 10 vertical knot wind shear and 3130 Celsius sea surface temperatures. Global models indicate that the 99P will continue to consolidate and intensify over the next two days as it slowly tracks southward. So the tropical scene is really ramping up and the two American uh, Samoa region mainly uh, heavy rain at this uh, point in time. We will continue to bring the latest information. watch this production of force 13 for more information about force 13 you can check us out on all of our outlets our website force13.com where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure we're also on youtube keyword force 13 You're probably there already good chance of that if you are hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox we're also on facebook keyword 413 where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well and we're on twitter keyword 413 and if you want to rock our colors like nathan foy here you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the patreon more information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash 413 and you can reach out to us on skype at 413 or to me directly on Discord at TREN, extension 1375, or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force13.